honor the 60th anniversary on the March on Washington. And today, we introduce you to Salah Uddin, who at that time, in August of 1963, was a young man living in New York, uncertain about his purpose. And then Carrie McRae was a young wife and mother of seven living in Pittsburgh. But as Royce Jones shows us, their lives were forever changed by the march to the Lincoln Memorial. During the 1960s, Salah Uddin was a teenager. He was searching for something, and it wasn't in Pittsburgh. I had dropped out of school in uh, Pittsburgh and ran away from home. His destination, New York City, Harlem. But he wasn't there long. He had two aunts in Staten Island. They scooped me up out of Harlem, uh, saved my life, and got me back in high school. And so I was able to finish high school uh, in New York. It was 1962 when, as a member of the NAACP Youth Council in New York, Udine heard about plans for a large demonstration in Washington. And Dr. Martin Luther King was going to be the keynote speaker. Meanwhile, in Pittsburgh, Carrie McRae also had plans to attend the march. I heard my husband's job that he worked at the post office was going to get a bus. I figured there'd be room for me. However, her husband Leon decided she should stay home and watch their seven children. But Carrie McRae found a way. I didn't tell my husband I was going. I went past my mother's house and found out that she would keep the children that day. So I said, now is my chance. So when he left to go down and get on the post office bus, I had called the cab and I took my children and took them to my mother's and took the cab on down to the NAACP bus. Had my foot on the bus and I felt his hand on my shoulder. And it was my husband. He said, what are you doing down here? I said, I'm going to the March on Washington. I had never seen that many people. Certainly never seen that many black people. People just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. Carrie McRae remembers the crowds as well. She ended up riding on the bus with her husband, and she remembers where she was in the crowd and what she could see. I was close enough that I could see uh, A. Philip Randolph, because uh, I was familiar with him, uh, behind Dr. King, and um, I could see Dr. King. I wanted to be a part of history, and I was from Alabama. That why, that's why it was so important that I went. Udin says the atmosphere was very different for him. He'd never experienced anything like it. They were singing and clapping and stomping and praying and shouting, and I, this, it was a, major, major celebration. Hearing words like let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania and let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, Udine says that speech answered questions. Who am I? What are you doing with your life? Where are you going? Where are you headed? Udine went on to spend four years in Mississippi as a freedom rider. He's a former Pittsburgh City Council member and current Pittsburgh School Board President. As for Carrie McRae, it changed my life with my children. It made me want, it made me appreciate um, it made me appreciate life. Period. 